Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and welcome to the FF Class MacBook, part one. So if you are subscribed to the channel, I can almost guarantee that not one of you saw this come in. Um, long story short, I've been using the MacBook Air as my laptop for the last few months. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous machine, form factor, design, weight, speed, it's just been absolutely great. But I got it for an incredibly good price, and I always had a niggle in my head that I could turn it over for a lot of money. So, me being me, I just cashed in, and um, I've, I've made a lot of money out of it. Plan was then, um, I'm, I'm putting money towards something else, a project, that was, that was the main incentive for it. But I, I still need a laptop for school, for on, on, on the go jobs and stuff like that, so a laptop is very important to me. So I still need the laptop. Plan was, use the profit I made to put into the project, and then the money that I spent originally on the MacBook Air put into an awesomely FF class spec'd out MacBook. I ended up going with one of these. This is an early 2009 white pre-unibody MacBook. It's a 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo um, with the 9400M graphics and as you can see it is a bare bones unit. It is just the motherboards, the screen, optical drive um, and casing of course. Why did I do that? Well basically there's a couple of reasons why I went with this model um, itself. Firstly, reliability. Statistically speaking, these MacBooks are the most reliable MacBooks Apple have ever released. They are bomb-proof. Electronically, nothing goes wrong with them. The only issue these MacBooks had was, of course, the, the magnetic hinge breaking the upper case. But I'll go on to that in a minute, but that would be a problem with me. Um, so yeah, reliability for one. They're but it's basically on par speed wise with my MacBook Air, so I won't see a drop in performance there. And it's also incredibly customizable and upgradable, and I'll go on to that in a minute. But basically, as an all round product, I think this is probably the most well balancing I could go with. And as you saw, there was no top case on that MacBook. Um, obviously, it was a bare bones unit, there was nothing else to it. So that allowed me to pick up a brand spanking new top case. No cracks on it whatsoever, it's all absolutely in perfect condition. I have never seen a MacBook, I, I didn't, I've never seen a, a white MacBook brand new. To, to, to see one not cracked and not all shiny and brown, it's just really, really cool. Um, those keys won't be staying, of course, that power button won't be staying, and uh, that trackpad won't be stay, uh, staying. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just sort of get into what is going to make this MacBook. FF class. Actual components then, um, obviously there's the 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo and the 9400M graphics, they're obviously going to stay, but for storage I've gone with this. This is a crucial M500 240GB uh, um, SSD. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bit of kit. There's only SATA 2 running in this MacBook, uh, so I'm only, only going to get 3 gigabit per second speeds, but still, this is going to be a ginormous upgrade over over what a normal MacBook would come with. Memory, I've gone with two uh, two gig sticks of um, it just says Mac memory on it. Um, it's 667 megahertz DDR2, not the fastest memory in the world. Um, it does support up to six gigs this machine but I decided to go to, for um, four gigs because uh, dual channel goodness. I almost forgot to mention uh, the battery. <laughs> Um, yeah, the SSD and the RAM, that is for sort of components, so it's going to have a 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, a 240 gig Crucial SSD, and the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics. This is the battery, um, I've decided to go with an official Apple battery, um, the seller classed it as A, A plus grades, so that basically means it's going to have less than 50 cycles on it, so this is going to be basically like having a brand spanking new uh, battery. I didn't go with a third party one because, um, well, they're a bit shit for one, battery life wise, and uh, they're really not very good in terms of safety, that like, they can catch fire and uh, basically expand and stuff, and I just don't want that going on, so I decided to play it safe and uh, spend a little bit more money on an official Apple battery. Now onto the things that is going to make this MacBook a little bit more unique. 
Um, firstly, I bought one of these. Now, just looking at it, it just looks like a random piece of plastic. This is a hinge cover. Um, there's a white one in there, obviously, at the moment. The great thing about these MacBooks is they made them in white and black. So, you can pick a mix and really make them as unique as you possibly, as, as your heart's, heart desires. So this is, this is a hinge cover. Basically I'm going to go for a, a predominantly white colour scheme with a black accent, um, similar to what my Hackintosh is, is like at the moment, so that's sort of the idea behind it. This is going to go and replace the white um, hinge in the MacBook at the moment, so we're going to have a nice black uh, hinge on the MacBook. Keys. Um, I've got a full set of black MacBook, as I spill them everywhere, black MacBook keys. So I've got the entire set here, this is going to take fucking forever to pick up now, but um, yeah, so we're going to have very similar to, to what new MacBooks are like with the aluminium and black uh, keys. This is going to be the white polycarbonate with the black keys, so it's going to really, really stand out, it's going to look absolutely epic, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it, bar one thing. Now this is a total experiment. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but um, I was looking at early 2008 MacBook Pros side by side with this early 2009 uh, polycarbonate MacBook. And what struck me is, for one, the trackpad is the same size, and the connectors on the trackpad are the same size. The difference being, the white MacBook doesn't support multi-touch gestures in uh, Yosemite, it only supports like two finger scrolling. The early 2008 MacBook, uh, MacBook Pro, supports three and four finger gestures. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. I am going to have a go at replacing the MacBook's white trackpad with this MacBook Pro uh, multi-touch trackpad. Um, I don't know if it'll work, um, I don't know what is going to happen, I don't even know if it, if the the connectors will work at all, but um, I just decided to go a little bit crazy, and if this does work, it is just going to be so, so awesome. So there we go, that is an extremely long wind, I really do apologise, um, look over all of the parts that are going to make up this FF class MacBook. We're going to do a bit of colour changing, so we're going to have white with black, we're going to have a multi-touch trackpad hopefully, we're going to have an SSD in there, we're going to have 4 gigs of RAM, um, brand new top case, brand new battery pretty much. It's just going to be a really, really gorgeous machine. So um, look out for part 2 next week guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.